This is a question about kids from a parent. That that kid, their kid, is not savvy, not good at maths, calculations. I was like that too. You know, growing up, I just scraped through school, uh, for mathematics especially, just passed. But I found it very difficult to keep the numbers in my head, okay? Because I had some psychological problems. For some reason, I became fearful and disliked mathematics. I was very good with uh, language-based subjects, history, literature, you know, language. I was, I, was, I was so happy with it. When it came to numbers, there were some problems. So it was some SEE, significant emotional experience in the past that made me lose this motivation to play with numbers. That must have happened to your kid, okay? For sure. Because, tell me, has that kid had the problem all their life from birth? They don't like numbers? Maybe, if that's the case, if they're born with a problem, then you are the problem. If they inherit it from you, or maybe your husband, or somebody else, okay? And therefore, they were born with a problem, not good at maths. But otherwise, it could have been something that happened along the way, where they thought they did well, but the result wasn't good, and therefore, they say, I hate maths. And when they say that, then the unconscious, will make them hate it. Yes, and more of that hatred. And from then on, they will become terrible at maths. For, the, for life, they could be 50 years old and looking at a maths formula and they will say, I can't remember this. Because, you know, I learned it a long time ago. I hated it. I'm not going to remember it anymore. I can't remember it anymore. And that's what happens at an unconscious level. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have kids coming with all kinds of problems to us and that kind of problem too. So in three days, in our Standing Achievers Camp, what we do is to correct these problems in the kid using processes, motivation, extreme activities for them to then get excited and believe in, in themselves. This is a problem with belief because in the past, the person may have been good, but something happened and the belief got destroyed. And therefore, right now, we need to work on this kid's belief. Not only about mathematics, I believe there's something else going on that this person is not confident about too. So, we're going to do a complete cleanup on your belief. During OAC, we just finished one early in Thailand. The next one is coming up on the 27, 28, and 29 of May. Right here in Ho Chi Minh City, we'll take you from here, go to Bung Tao and get it done in three intensive days where the kids come with all kinds of problems. We clean them up and set them up to love mathematics. How do you like that? Anything they do, they will love it because you know why? They will have a reason to love mathematics. I want to talk about that for another one minute. Listen carefully. When you studied mathematics, did the teacher ever teach you why you learn mathematics? For example, if you want to learn trigonometry or algebra, did they say, boys and girls, do you know why we need to learn algebra? Let me explain to you why first and then teach you what. It never happens in the education system. They jump in and teach you what and then you got to do the sums. It's boring. So what we need to do is to teach the student how to understand why it is important and when the why is there the emotion comes up when the emotion is there they suck everything in they absorb everything so we need to reframe the way your kid learns not only about mathematics about life so when you can fix that your kid will love to learn everything because they will find their own why to go learn anything if that makes you excited get them to the camp which is happening in May. You know the dates. Call our office. Thank you.